there are so many budget templates that are available to the public. There's digital formats, there's stickers for notebooks, there's printable monthly budget worksheets, printable paycheck budgets. How can you make your own? Today I will be showing you how to make your own using Google Sheets. There's a few things that I want you to do first. We have to do some brainstorming and this is what I want you to think about. How many income sources you have? Is it just your regular job income? Do you have more than one person that is contributing? Are you getting child support? Are you getting not only your corporate job, but do you have a side hustle going on? Do you have a, a, another part-time job? The next thing is, do you give? And what I mean by giving is, do you attend a church? Do you tithe? Do you contribute to a charitable organization? The next thing is obviously the biggest part of a budget and that is your expenses. What bills do you have on a monthly basis? I want you to figure out how many they are. And then I want you to think about what are the other variable spending that you do, meaning gas, going to the grocery store, see what else is there. And just come up with the spending that takes place on a month to month basis. You can do this by going through your bank account or if you use cash envelopes, you know, figure out what that is. And speaking of cash envelopes, do you use cash envelopes? If you are one that doesn't use cash envelopes like myself, what bank accounts do you have? Now the next part I want you to think about is your savings. Do you contribute monthly to an emergency fund? Do you contribute for a down payment, tuition? What sinking funds do you have? Are you saving for gifts? Are you saving for a big purchase, vacation, any of those things, how many savings categories or accounts do you have that you are gonna be saving for? Think about that. The last thing that we were gonna be focusing on is debt. What extra debt that you are wanting to make on a month to month basis? How much do you have that you can contribute to debt? Do you pay extra debt for a car loan to your mortgage? The next thing that we have to do before we actually create the template is I want you to think about how do you want your template to look like? Is it going to be a minimal template? Meaning, is it gonna be black and white? Let's say you don't have color ink. You don't have that, but you just want it to be like a simplistic, elegant design. Is that how you want that? template to look. What sections do you want? Do you want your budget to be in different sections? Is there going to be more than one like column on your worksheet or do you want it to be on multiple pages? Do you want images on your budget template? Do you want borders? What is it that you want on your template? How do you want it to look? Having all of this in mind, you can put this on a scrap piece of paper because this can be helpful for you to reference throughout the design process when you are on the Google Sheet. Having it roughly sketched out, you can know the basic structure of your template. And now that is the part where we are gonna get right on into creating the basic structure of the template. Here's my rough sketch of how I want my monthly budget worksheet to look like. Let's go ahead and get to creating the template. So the first thing, we're gonna open up Google Drive. So you have to have a Google account in order to do this. You're here. So you can see on my screen, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and click new and I want to use the Google Sheets. And all of this is free and this is what makes it so wonderful. The first thing is you want to give it a title. You're just going to, with your mouse, you're gonna click and highlight and drag all the way until the G. And then up here, this is saying that we want to merge the cells, that way it is the header. So I'm gonna click that so that it becomes just one cell. And now I'm just gonna title this monthly budget. And I do want this to be in the center. So we're just gonna leave it very basic for right now. We're just creating the bones of the template. So now looking at my sketch, I know that I want different sections to the budget. So obviously we have to place an income section. I am going to draw out first the boxes of how I want the income section of the template to be. So again, with my mouse, I will just be clicking and I will be figuring out, well, how many columns do I want from the, the sketch? How many columns do I want? So I know that the first line is going to be the titling of the column. So we have the income, we have the budget, 
then we have actual and then I am just going to drag down a few rows highlight it to seven and then I'm going to click this border and I want it to have all borders filled. So that looks good. So now I want to go ahead and add in my headers. So we have income, we have budget, and we have the actual. And then at the bottom, I just want to put a total income line. And we're going to stretch out these columns because when I print this out, I cannot fit my handwriting, everything in this one space. So you can make these columns bigger. So by highlighting the column, you see this arrow and I'm going to drag it. And this is where you just are going to eyeball how, how big you want the spacing to be. And then these two, I don't need them that big um, because these are just going to be where the numbers go. So I'm just going to drag this down a bit and hope that that is big enough space. Uh, for me. Okay, so the next thing that I want is the giving. So I know that with this, I usually just have the, the header, and then I have my tithe, and I have another line here where it can be like for an extra offering, and then the total. So I'm just going to drag this down to four rows, and I'm going to drag it over, and we're going to select to fill all borders. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put the header, total giving. Now we are on to the expense portion. And I just have everything in expenses. I really don't break things down variable or fixed, but if you want to do that based on your sketch, you will design it however you see fit. So I'm going to make quite a few rows here. I'm gonna just drag this down to, uh, I think that's good, 38. And drag it over and we're going to fill the border and I'm gonna make my header and I'm gonna do total expenses something that I want to add here because I think it will be very helpful for anyone that would be using these worksheets is to have a, a little key for a formula so I'm gonna title this total income section a this C and total expenses and then here we're just going to make a border and we're going to say what is left over. So the remaining funds that's budgeted and actual and the formula is going to be A minus B minus C equals D. So that gives me that. And now I want to move on to the next section of the budget. So how is it that I can tell, will this fit the page? So a way to check that before you move on, you can go to file, print, and we want it to be a portrait. So I'm gonna click this and click portrait. And then here is where you can, let me zoom this out. You can see, does it fit the page still? So because we are just starting with the bare bones basic template, it fits really nicely. So we do have some free space here, um, but once we get into the details of actually designing and making the template look pretty, um, we're most definitely going to be increasing the font size of this monthly budget. But for right now, it looks great. So that's how you can always reference back to see, are you good with your budget? Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next section. And this is where referencing your sketch. So I'm gonna put the sketch back up here so that way we can all be on the same page. I know that I want a category section because I don't use cash envelopes. I'm not gonna title this cash envelope. I'm just gonna title it category and leave it be. But I don't want this column in between to be so large. So I'm just going to drag this and make it just a little bit thinner. An easy thing for you to do, since you've already created these boxes and everything, you can drag and copy. So I'm gonna go ahead and with my keyboard, it's Command C to copy, or you can just right click and do copy here. And then I'm going to paste. So you can Command V, or you could just right click and then click paste. Whatever you wanna do, that's what you could do. So we have that done. But I want to change these headings so it doesn't say income, I want this to say category. And then down here, I just want this to be total category. And this is going to be E, 
And the next thing that we want to do is adjust the sizing of these columns. So just like we did here, we're going to eyeball how big we want this column to be and hope that it's going to be okay. And then we're going to drag to highlight both of these columns. And I'm going to make these ones a little bit smaller, right? So I think that that's okay. I think it looks good. What you can do, so I want to add a few more lines here. So I'm just going to move this down. I don't know how many categories I'm going to have, maybe 10. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end it. So we have 10 here and I'm going to make all the borders. We have that section complete. So now the next thing I'm going to do is create a sinking fund section. And that is also going to be about 10. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm paste it down here and change this to sinking funds. And it's going to be total sinking funds. And this is going to be F. So I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger that way it'll fit. Right. And then we're just going to do this again for the next section. So, Let's see, savings, I'm gonna have it be like four. I'm gonna just copy this and paste it and we're gonna change this to savings. And right here, it's gonna be total savings. And this is gonna be G. Okay, and we still have the debt section. I guess I'm just gonna copy this again. Maybe not have, hmm, maybe not have so many lines for the savings. I just move this up and change this so there's no border. You really just play around with how you want your template to be. So I'm gonna call this extra debt and total debt. And I'm gonna have this be H. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here. And I wanna put something a little different, so. We're just going to delete this and I want to have a phrase to remind that we want to be at a zero base budget. Are we at zero? I want this to be one. So I'm going to merge this, make it in the center. And then I want to merge this as well. And I'll put a formula. So D minus E minus F minus G minus H. So then we have a little space here to be able to write in the amount. So that way we know it should be a zero based budget. So to check everything, um, since this is just the basic template, we can see that everything fits pretty nicely here. I think this may be a little bit too large for this section. Um, so you can go ahead and adjust. So I may just want to make this match how big this is. So we're just going to eyeball it, eyeball it, and again, check to see, does it still fit? And I think, I think that looks pretty good. Again, everything is just eyeballing. So you can always adjust accordingly. So we have all of our sections down. If you want to see me design this template to really give it a unique look then make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell that way you won't miss out on the next episode where i will be showing you how i really amp up this budget to make it look really cute i make some free worksheets and they are available on my blog so check the link in the description box to head over to my blog and get your free worksheets and cash envelopes and be subscribed to my newsletter because I sent out one once a month in the beginning of the month. So you don't want to miss out on that. So if you enjoyed today's video, then definitely hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.